Hi Stampin' Friends! I wanted to make a quick video on what is a card buffet. I just started doing in-person classes events again and um, I did a card buffet just last week and so I want to tell you what that is because I've met some new friends over this whole um, pandemic and I've uh, not met you in person yet and maybe you don't know what a card buffet is and you might wonder should I go to that? Is that something I want to attend? And I think it's a fun event. It's a great dip your toes in event because it's very low key. You can come and go during that time and you can make only what you want to make. So what I do is I put up a display of cards just like at a food buffet. There's a whole wide range of things that you can decide on making. So you can say I want to make two of those and one of those and, and make only what you want. And they're $2.50 each and then if you make five then they go to five for ten. And then any card after that would be $2. So it depends on how many you want to make. Maybe you just want to make one and see how you like it. Maybe you, you need a lot of cards and you want to crank them out. It's all up to you. So anytime during that open time you can come in and make cards. And it's a nice event where you're taking the um, thing that you want to work on, the project box that you want to work on, take it and sit at your table and you could chit chat with a friend. Maybe you're both making the same thing, maybe you're both making something different, but it's a nice um, time for you to talk with a friend. It's not a lot of, you don't have to listen to me, it's not a class, it's, it's um, you know, I'll come by and give you a tip if you need to. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, walk around the room and see if anybody's struggling with something or, uh, you know, if you need something. But I provide everything you need, envelopes, adhesive, scissors, you don't have to have a little stash. Um, some people like to bring their own supplies, they've got their little favorite uh, scissors and adhesives and things. But I have it all there if you don't want to uh, bring anything, you can just come in and make your cards and chit chat with some friends and get to try some new products. So here is the video I filmed just real quick at the last event. So I wanted to kind of show you the building that I use because I don't use my home, I use a building in Lombard. Um, church lets me rent a space and so I can uh, go in and use that and that's nice because then it can spread out and there's um, plenty of parking and there's an elevator to the second floor so there's no stairs it's really easy peasy so I want to show you the building and where I'm at and then what the room setup looks like so you can know what you're you're um, missing out on so I think that it's a fun and easy event and I would love to see more people come so I hope that you like the video and if you have any questions about card buffet let me know. I'm in the Chicagoland area. It is open to uh, any crafter. It's even open to other demonstrators. There's a couple demonstrators there. So, you know, maybe you just don't have a group that you stamp with and you just want to get out of your house and stamp. I don't care if you're a demonstrator. Come on in and <laughs> talk stamps with me. I like doing that. So, um, anyway, here's the video. So the building looks like this. I wanted to show you how to get into Stamp Camp or Card Buffet. And you'd park in the lot. And you don't want to go to the main sanctuary doors. You want to come over to the side by the address. And there's a side door. Which will be open. And then when you walk in, you can either go up the stairs. And I'm upstairs from 202. Or if you need an elevator, it's straight ahead. Just a few more steps and take the elevator to the second floor. That's it. So here's what you can expect at a card buffet. At card buffet, people can choose what to make. So I'll have a display of cards and even a scrapbook page. And people can decide that they want to make all of one card or two of this one, or maybe they want to make one of everything. That's up to you. These cards here are um, retiring, so these are not going to be here. But um, next time, they'll be different. So I switch up the cards. Sometimes one card will last two months. but there'll be lots of cards that'll be new each time. So you'll always have something new. And I bring different sentiments too. So if you see the one that says, thank you, um, I'll probably have a birthday card that you can swap out the sentiment so that you can use the same design of a card but change the sentiment to something that suits what you need. And then when you've decided what you wanna make, you're gonna come over here and I'll flip it here and you'll see that I've got all the boxes with everything you need inside the box. So you would just take the box with the supplies that you need and head over to one of the tables. And on the table there will be things like um, adhesive and there's scissors and all kinds of things. Anything you need is here. You don't have to bring anything. I have a cleaning a little scrubby, little placemats in case you need to stamp off. So you're going to just take your box and pick a seat and you can sit in, with a friend and just chit chat and this is not a formal event. This is kind of a work at your own pace event. So you can pick a spot and just sit and talk, catch up, and make just what you want to make. And that's it. And then I have a section over against the wall here where I have things like the cut emboss machine, 
the heat tool if needed, things like that will be over at the side. And then I usually have a display of things that are for sale. For example, you'll see some paper pumpkin kits, you'll see a box of adhesive, you'll see order forms, catalog, and then some retired odds and ends sometimes might be over there as well. I sometimes bring little boxes of odds and ends that I have found when cleaning things out. So you might see some odds and ends, but mostly it'll just be kits that are for sale. And those are real fun. You can see if I've got any of the paper pumpkin kits that you missed out on, grab a catalog, an order form, and then I have a display rack of cards that I've made for maybe my blog or my YouTube channel. So then, you know, I make a lot of cards and if I make a mistake or I sometimes I cut enough to make three in case as I'm working, I um, do make a mistake. <laughs> I can grab another piece. So at the end, I tend to have three of every card I make. So I bring those along too and you're welcome to browse through that and purchase some of those too. So that is a card buffet. Real casual and just kind of come and sit. It's a big space, so um, it's no stairs. There's an elevator if you are um, have some mobility issues. Nice bathroom space, um, easy parking, and I use the space at the Lombard Church of the Nazarene. So it's upstairs, room 202. And I also do stamp camp in this same space. Those are a little different. Those are more structured. You have to make, you have to be on time. You have to, everybody's making the same thing, and those, those cards are a little more detailed. So that's why I call it a camp. So here's Card Buffet. I just thought I'd give you a little overview so people know what to expect at a Card Buffet. And as I was cleaning up, this is actually a Thursday night. I do them on a Thursday night and then I get to keep everything up and not have to clean up. And then I come back again on Friday morning and do it all over again. So I just um, finished kind of cleaning up from Thursday night and put all the paper back and I am ready for a Friday morning. So um, take a look at my calendar, I do it every month. Check and see if there's a Thursday night or a Friday morning that works for you next month. Bye.